Hey everybody, welcome back, and I may be crazy, but I'm close to 70 subscribers, and I just wanted to do something insane, so this is going to be my first time ever solo camping alone, and it's actually in a blizzard that's going to be below zero, so. Hold your goddamn horses. You mean to tell me that for your 70 subscriber special, you're going to camp overnight by yourself in a blizzard with sub-zero degree temperatures? <sighs> Well, if that is not the actual definition of self-sacrifice and commitment to the YouTube grind, well, then I, I don't know what it is. Hello, everyone. My name is Leon Lush, and welcome back to a brand new hot and spicy biscuit fresh out of the oven. I am just overjoyed that you would decide to spend a few minutes here with me today before moving on to do whatever the hell else you're planning on doing today. But I'm telling you right now, nothing is as important as these next 10 to 12 minutes. Believe that. Now, many of you may know this through my other social medias or perhaps my second channel here on YouTube. But a week ago from today, on the 10th of August, my son was born. Wow. Uh, after much anticipation, nine pounds, healthy as an ox. My wife is recovering. He's as cute as a motherfucking button. I mean, just look, just look at this. Oh, he was a bad man, Jackson. Uh, so we're incredibly blessed and very thankful for all of the well wishes I've been getting uh, from you guys. It really means the world to us. Now I'm sensitive to the fact that most of you didn't subscribe to this channel to keep tabs on what's going on with my family life. And I, I totally get it. Uh, but if you are into that style of content, slower paced vlog style stuff, I do have a second channel where I've been uploading vlogs. If you're interested, love to see you pop in over there from time to time. Link in the description. Secondly, before we break off and get into this video, can we just pause for a moment and take a second to give a round of applause to my friends in today's video sponsor, Dollar Shave Club. I mean, I really consider myself blessed that I'm able to work with a company that not only delivers top tier products, but helps support the YouTube community by working with creators that you love, like. Leon Lush over here. Yeah, I stay fresh to death. <laughs> Come on. But you already knew that if you're a fan of the channel. And that's all made possible because I have to look no further than Dollar Shave Club for the sickest men's grooming products in the game. Hairstyling products, shower products, butt wipes, shaving products, oral care, skin care, you name it, they got it. Top tier products at an affordable price. Two products I'm in love with right now are the Citrus Hawaiian Ginger Daily Face Cleanser. It smells great and keeps my skin clean and supple. And also these One Wipe Charlies. I mean, these bad boys right here, uh, they just feel like heaven when you're cleaning up after yourself if you uh, catch my meaning. Now, if you haven't copped one yet, and I'm not sure why you wouldn't, Dollar Shave Club's basically giving away their daily essential starter set for five bucks, all right? You're gonna get the best razor they offer with a full backup cartridge of razor heads, their calming shave butter for a smooth ass shave, their amber lavender body cleanser, and a triple play of their one wipe Charlies. Your face cheeks and your ass cheeks will forever be in your debt. This $5 offer is only available at dollarshaveclub.com forward slash Leon Lush. So do yourself a solid, smash that link, head on over there, get yourself started with a trial kit, try out some of their other products. I know you're gonna love them. That's leonlush.com forward slash Dollar Shave Club. Get started with Dollar Shave Club today. Now here on the Leon Lust channel, we sift through a lot of shit content for a couple of laughs. That's why it probably comes as no surprise why I'm so thrilled that just the other day YouTube recommended me some of the most wholesome down to earth content I have ever laid my damn eyes on. The solo overnight camping in Blizzard 70 subscriber special from my friend Nicholas Green Outdoors filled my spirit with joy and gave me hope once again in humanity's future. Ooh, female Viagra prank? No thanks. Another Logan Paul vs. KSI video? Fuck out of here. Oh, PewDiePie uploaded another You Laugh, You Lose. Maybe next time. So overnight camping in Blizzard 70 subscriber special? Hell yeah. I'm close to 70 subscribers and I just wanted to do something insane. So this is going to be my first time ever solo camping alone. He hooked me right in the beginning because there's honestly nothing cuter than camping in a Sub-Zero Blizzard for your 70 subscriber special. Oh, by the way, he uploaded it and it got 4.1 million views and catapulted him to 171,000 subscribers. Talk about a fairy tale up there, the likes of like Cinderella and Mulan. This is some wholesome, family-friendly shit and I am living for it. I'm going to come out and sleep here, but... <laughs> It's kind of insane. I'll show you my setup before it starts because I won't be able to show you much then. I just got a blanket here extra. If I need so, I'll put it on here, which I'll show you in a minute. 
Just got my water for boiling. Just a couple magazines do something. An extra coat back there. An extra propane cylinder, which you'll see in a minute what it's for. Then I got scrambled eggs and bacon dehydrated mountain house. Now Nick here is no amateur. He knows that his viewers are going to be concerned. That he's going to do something crazy. Is he going to freeze to death for his 70 subscriber special? No, that's why he wastes no time in getting right into the inventory. I got a backup propane tank, magazine, dehydrated fruit, trail mix, a space heater, a backup blanket. <laughs> I mean, Nicholas Green is no slouch. I just got my knife. Oh, and a knife because... Well, polar bear attacks, obviously. I'll show you outside, though. Because, holy cow, I can't feel my toes. And All right, I might have been a little overconfident, Nick. I mean, if the sun's not even down yet and he already can't feel his toes, this, uh, well, this, this might not go as planned. Right now, I'm on a an air mattress, a twin. Pretty thick. Ooh, that is pretty thick. Let's run that back. It's a twin. Pretty thick. Squeeze it again. Pretty thick. Oh, one more time. Pretty thick. <coughs> Pretty thick. <coughs> oh. 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 Clean yourself up, you slut. Oh my god, I'm sorry. I did not mean for my air mattress fetish to become public, but uh, well, that just doesn't seem viable anymore, does it? On top of that, I, I'm not sure what this one's called. But I got a Coleman sleeping bag I got for Christmas, so. That's my setup. Just when I think I can't like Nick any more than I already do, I find out that he asked for a Coleman sleeping bag for Christmas. No Xbox 360, no PlayStation 4, no V-Bucks, Mom. I don't need V-Bucks. Get me that Coleman sleeping bag so I can do a 70 subscriber special in the tent, in the backyard, in a motherfucking blizzard. Hey, everybody. I'm outside of the tent, and look at this. This is actually in my yard. Because this is my first time ever camping, but my house is right way over there, so... Hey guys, by the way, here's my tent, and 15 feet to the right, there's my house. Uh, I gotta be honest with you, Nick, the insane meter just went down just a little bit, you know what I mean? Because you have the fail-safe of the house there if you really do start freezing to death, so it takes a little bit of the edge off the excitement. But I mean, it still looks cold as fuck. I mean, the blizzard, it's snowing out, it's no joke, so I'm still, I'm with you, I'm still with you. Hey everybody, I don't know if I'm running this right, but there's the little buddy. All right, so night it's has fallen much, and it is getting serious here. I don't know how you guys can see. Here. Oh, he can't Let really. Me pull the light down. I, I don't know if. There, let's see. Give you a tour. There's my. The uh, stop motion. The time lapse. I got my cooker back there and my heater. And, uh,. Got a pot. Pots over there. Everything I showed you is in this corner. There's the blanket. Here's my sleeping bag. Hey guys, remember all those things I inventoried early this afternoon? They're still here. All right, so there's been like four there. minutes of just basically did, so. black footage. Hey, which you guys is... can't really see anything? No. <laughs> yeah. No, 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 we could not. As far as he I'm seeing it. on here, you can't see. Well, you were I'm right. try to change it right now as you're on camera. Give it a shot. See what happens. Hold on. I'll wait for you. Hey! Hey guys, sorry it cut off there. Um, <laughs> it's okay. I'm just going to keep updating you overnight. Fabulous. I I, <laughs> it's freezing out here. I don't know if you can see. <laughs> if this is not the cutest shit I have ever seen in my damn life. It's freezing out here. I don't know if you can see. Still can't. I'll update you when I'm cooking or something, and I'll see you then. Now, in Nick's defense, it's not easy to get a good shot inside of a pitch black tent in the middle of a blizzard, right? Let's just hope that the time-lapse camera comes through and has some usable footage. <sighs> hey, everybody. Um, it was a horrible night last night. I couldn't even sleep, really, honestly. So it's the next morning now, and Nicholas is, thank you, Jesus, still with us. Uh, but this insane night did not come without its fair share of setbacks. My socks got wet. I had to take them off. Sockless? Nicholas, you absolute animal. I gotta be honest, if this was me in that situation, I get wet socks and a fucking Sub-Zero blizzard, I'm tapping out. I'm all done. Sorry, Subs. I just, this is not for me. I'm heading inside. Nicholas, though? Not a problem. Socks are for pussies. I had the vent up there in that corner open. 
and the vent in that corner open and basically I couldn't even I couldn't have the heater on because they froze over meaning the carbon dioxide would have stayed in here and just got lower and lower until it killed me so I had to turn the heater off real early. Listen, you can't tell me that if you were faced with the scenario of either dying of carbon monoxide ingestion or flipping off the heaters and dying of hypothermia that you would know what to do. But for Nicholas, heaters, who needs them? Hypothermia, what's that? Yeah, I just I just went in because I almost got hypothermia. I had to go inside and I got changed and took a warm shower. But holy cow, last night in here, it was terrible. Ah, so the truth comes out here. Um, apparently after all this, Nicholas, I guess, had to go inside and change and take a warm shower so he didn't die of hypothermia uh, the previous night. And I'm not saying, like, I'm not trying to take away from what he's accomplished. I mean, the setup and just the balls. But, it, it, I mean, to not complete the challenge, really, and stay the night, you know, I don't know. I mean, honestly, I guess if you're looking at it that way, the, the only thing worse than not completing a challenge for the 70 subscriber special would probably be dying of hypothermia for your 70 subscriber special. So, I well played, Nicholas, in my opinion. That's, you, did, you made the right choice. I'll do more camping videos, but I figured I'd do something a little bit more extreme for, because I'm really close to 70 subscribers. And uh, I'm happy about that. So what an absolute gem this kid is! So sweet and innocent. I mean, with all the shit that we ingest on YouTube, it's so nice to see someone down to earth and genuine, just uploading a camping in a blizzard 70 subscriber special to the internet, not thinking anyone's really gonna see it. A couple of people, maybe. Boom! 4.1 million views. Don't ever change, Nicholas Green. Don't let the fame and the YouTube success start make you doing. Fucking, I got my girlfriend pregnant prank. Stay, stick with the outdoor shit. S just don't lose it, man. We need people like you. So he goes on for a while about how cold it was and how terrible the conditions were the night previous, and then he sends us off with this fantastic time lapse of him packing up the tent. Now I know you're watching this and probably thinking to yourself, hey Nicholas, where are you gonna put that tent? Okay, everybody, quick update. Everything's on the shelf. Back up on the shelf. <laughs> Case closed. So that's Nicholas Green Outdoors, and allow me to just put the thick sarcasm to the side for a second. It's so nice to be able to make a video on someone like this that's not a horrible asshole on the internet. I mean, I make so many videos on just absolute degenerates that uh, it's just a breath of fresh air to see someone like Nick Green here just making these videos, super genuine, so nice, down to earth. And uh, for whatever reason, that video got popped in the recommended 4.1 million views, started uh, making a little making a little fucking YouTube career for himself, and it's so nice to see. So, if you do plan on going to this kid's channel after you watch this video, which would be great, uh, show him nothing but love, man. We need more genuine people like this on YouTube in the recommended. Less of the fucking fake pranks and the, uh, you know what I'm saying. Just, it's so, just show this kid, show this kid some love. And you know what else gives me life? It's that the comment section, which can get very vile in videos that are fucking recommended to millions of people like this one, it remained very wholesome. So Nigel, what do you say we check it out? You're so genuine and sweet. Inspiration. You're lovely. Keep going, heart. 25 subs. So today, guys, I'll be sleeping in a lion's den. Hope you enjoy. <laughs> Keep going, dude. My hustler. You're such a cool kid. Keep doing what you love. Uh, I, w <laughs> I wish I was doing this at his <laughs> I wish I was doing this at his age instead of fapping every chance I get. Oh, my God. <laughs> Oh, I am a child. Jesus Christ, why is that so funny to me? I'm pleasantly surprised the comment section is actually positive. Great video, you're a good kid, glad you had a lot of fun. Awesome guy making content about something he's truly passionate about, which makes it so interesting to watch because he enjoys it. Great recommendation for once from YouTube. Oh man, Brad T. I could not agree, I could not agree more. That is, this is exactly what that is. This is the shit I love, man. The kid's so genuine, down to earth. Just doing what he loves. And YouTube recommended it. They got one right after fucking 10 years of bullshit. This is the most beautiful comment section ever. It's literally heartwarming. You know what, Dublin Aviation is absolutely right. This is, 
This is the type of shit that makes me proud to be a YouTuber, you know what I'm saying? I'd love to see more of this, and it's fun to do a video like this once in a while uh, that restores my faith a little bit in humanity between the video itself and the comment section. So thank you, YouTube, for recommending this video to me and to four million other people, and thank you, Nicholas Green, for being a sweet, sweet little cherub. Thank you guys so much for watching and being a part of the Tomato Mafia. I do not take your attention for granted. I truly appreciate it. Uh, I got new merch in the pipeline coming very, very soon with some fresh new designs. I'm very excited to show you guys. If you could do me a favor and just leave a comment down below, let me know what you think. Uh, and go ahead and subscribe if you're new. It would mean the world. And lastly, if you could just take a second and start your own YouTube channel, work for several years to build up a little bit of a fan base, 50 sub 60 sub 65 and when you're getting close to 70 i want you to make a 70 subscriber special where you film yourself hip thrusting the motherfucking like button in this video right here i appreciate the hell out of you see you soon peace